All right, back to Psychonauts. Time to check out a level that's not this one. Or that I haven't done already. And or explore some more. One of the two. Ah, crud. Brain. How Chloe sneezed this one through that helmet will never know. Not a My patron, my psychiatrist, my warden. Looks like Dr. Lobato to me. Is he the one who chained you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete my treatment. So why don't you just finish the painting and go home? Why don't I just... Sometimes you just have to... Huh. You painted a bullfight over the doctor's face. Why a bullfight? Huh? Huh, Edgar, why do you... Every time! Every time it is the same! The matador! The bull! How I despise you both! But my hands won't let you go. Ah! That is why I am here, chained in more ways than you can see. A prisoner of art. A prisoner of art. Well, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. You good? I'm good. Nothing else in here. Le jeu de gloire est arrivé. Uh, behind you, General. Hmm. Hit retreat. Greetings, Dr. Lobotto. Up to the secret laboratory, then, is it? One moment. You're not Dr. Lobotto. My eyes may be half gone, but I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got that stone-cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hand should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal claw. So if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Lobotto, you don't pay my salary, so kindly back away from my elevator and die. Thank you, sir. Ah, uh, my trusted spy. Tell mm. me what you know. Ah, oh, good move, mate. Yep. All right. So, objective gained. Excuse me, sir? My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, uh, excuse me. Mr. Bonaparte. Shh, I only think I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. Do not listen to the weakling. He denies his lineage because he feels it. I like your jacket. Very strappy. You want it? You can have it. Just help me undo these buckles in the back and I'll... Get... What are you doing? The uniform of this army is sacred. We shall wear it proudly until the battle is over. Help me. <laughs> Soon we shall feast upon these sweet battery snails of victory. I like your jacket. Very strappy. You want it? You can have it. Just help me undo these buckles in the back and I'll... Get... Oh, great! Now what 
am I supposed to do? It's not like I can reach a regular restroom when I am all chained up like this. Sorry. Hey, how's that painting of Dr. Lobato coming along? You know, I'll deliver it for you as soon as it's finished. Silence! I am conceptualizing. You too. Excuse me, ma'am, but did you see a girl? You must be my new leading man. Aren't you handsome? But, my gracious, you're so young. Tell me why do they keep casting me with such mere babes? I guess that's the curse of having an eternally young face. Hmm. So, did you not see a girl come through here? Handsome, I'm not the stage director. I don't track the entrances and exits. Oh, psycho portal. Oh, you're back to take away everything I've worked Dang for. Dang it, that's not it. Because you're jealous. <laughs> so... There we go. Oh, if you don't like the performance, a simple boo will do. Cut! Hey, kid! Can't you see I'm trying to produce a play here? Uh, no. Oh, God! Even a child can see I've lost control of this production. Becky, get a grip. Child? Look, kid, it wasn't crack. always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Hagatha Home. Uh oh. Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. He's just a critic who happens to be right. I'll go talk to Benita. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That and acting lessons. You can get Benita to take the stage again. Then you're the star of my show, kid. Cobweb duster. There we go. She really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Excuse me, I'm just. Hey, watch it, or I'll call security. Hey, watch it, or I'll call security. Excuse me, Miss Soleil. 
I heard you were feeling bad, so I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when... Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? Yeah. Sorry, I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten, her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want, an autograph? I'm kind of busy here. They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? So, who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. So, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of Gloria's terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? Is there any way I can get you to take the stage for the fans? If you can get me some help out there so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work. But you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now where was I? <laughs> Smash through all the things. Aha! Cruel training. Seems fairly standard. Including the whip. Aha. Got it. Just coming from her, so don't have to worry about luggage over here. Gotcha thing. Nice. Have your thing. I do. Maybe I should come back later when he's not sleeping. He looks too mean to wake up. All right, fine, whatever. Ah, missed it. Come back down. 
I'm gonna have to wait for you to come back up. Guess I'm gonna have to wait. Ah, oh, dang. I didn't see you coming down. Gotcha. Go. Mm. Alright, get these two while I'm waiting. And then... Two... Pyrokinesis... Ah, dang it. Position one. And action! Tonight I will be playing the part of Gloria Von Guten, the famous actress! In this nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical Sunshine Shenanigans! <laughs> and where would Gloria be without her muse? Her inner sunshine! The spirit of her youth! Play tonight, once again, by Lolita Soleil! Oh, I do so hope that my mother is proud of me! Not again! <gasps> the Phantom! I've seen some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace! And it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. <laughs> this time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know, you could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock them dead, I promise. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets. Total chaos. Or worse. Improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. I think Becky's not telling me the whole story. I should go oh, give her a piece me. of my mind. Ah. Well, I'm just going to uh, sit here and collect these two for the next, like, ten minutes. Ending the video here.